try this again. Good day, good people. Welcome everybody, it's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here on Maple Farm for another episode of the No Tractor Challenge, created by Warco Entertainment and shared in my Facebook group, Farm Simulator Challenges. Welcome back everybody. <laughs> yeah, no notification of poor connection. Yeah, I, well, I wasn't gonna just <laughs> not try again, Shug. Yeah, we even upgraded our internet, but I am running on uh, running on Wi-Fi though. Usually, it's not too bad. My son, my son is in. Uh, my son just got to Brandon. South Dakota and is at Houston Racetrack watching the World Outlaws so he was just texting me too. <laughs> He's all excited. His first World of Outlaws event. He made the he made the trip up there with some friends. Alright, so now we are at five o'clock uh, in the late afternoon, so, what do I want to do here, might just roll to the next day, might be the thing to do, because I did get, I think we might just do that, go to sleep to the next day. Because it won't be long and we'll lose daylight, probably. So let's go ahead and go to sleep to the next day. And maybe we get a couple of pallets of eggs there. Another one. See what we got now. Alright. Now we're going to have a nice daylight. Now who's here? I don't think anybody's here, Murphy. Ooh, hey, we got a full pallet, almost full, two pallets. Oh, my daughter must be back home already. She wasn't gone very long. You didn't stay gone very long. She got a... Yeah, no, she's got a big bag of cotton candy that her... Oh, my goodness! Another PlayStation message. Come on. Give me a break, will you, tonight? Okay, so... Oh, we have to check my silage in that bunker. See if this is ready. Ah, uh, is this ready? 96%. Okay, that is almost ready and that's like 73,000 liters I think okay <laughs> what do we got for contracts and we can't borrow equipment we got all kinds of bailing contracts okay six thousand dollars that's not gonna do us much good for... okay let's get the truck uh, let's get uh, Let's get this truck here. And go see what we got for... Uh, if we got any wooden planks, see if we can go make ourselves some money here. Let's drop this off. We do need a little bit of money here, quick. Oops, no. Need my front lifter. There we go. Alright, now, flatbed. Where's my flatbed? Where did I hide that? Over here by the silo, didn't I? Right there. You want that? Let's 
hook up to this and get the telehandler. Oh, no, come on. Okay, then we need the telehandler on here. Oh, da, 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 da. I'm not even the one that parked it. Where did I park it? Well, this farm isn't the same as it used to be. I, I did some selling and buying and kind of rebuilt the farm a little bit. Uh, let's just put this on here. Get this on here. Now, um, do I want that? I don't really want that hook up. Let's get a different front attachment over here. Put this one down. Get rid of that boy. Get this one. Whoa, now we don't want to pick up the shed. Seriously, is it that stuck under the shed? <laughs> oh my goodness, so no tractor challenge is that big of a struggle. Davies Farman, welcome my friend. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get that out from underneath the shed. Keith Bleeker, man. Wow. That's really stuck under the shed, ain't it? That's too bad. Oh, come on now. There we go. Guess I learned my lesson putting it that up close to the shed. Now we get on the old truck. Yeah, take two is right, Chad. Yeah, I don't know what happened. back, you know, strap that up, welcome everybody to the No Tractor Challenge here on Maple Farm by Cavalier Roy from Farming Simulator 22 on PlayStation 4, alright, now, I suppose, yeah, we could just, yeah, we're gonna need Yeah, we'll get the trailer too, I think. We'll take our trailer here, run on my crop field. If FS twenty two crossplay now it is cool. It is my friend. Okay, come on. Haven't heard from you in a long while. <laughs> Haven't heard from Keith in a long while. Come on. Now my extension is... There we go. There we go. I could, I should just get an auto load trailer is what I should do. Alright, now to get down to the sawmill without tipping the truck or anything over. 
just go down here and see what we have for uh, some pallets. Hopefully we have some pallets and planks. Well, everybody, welcome everybody. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's turn out here into this dangerous traffic on this map. Get in the right lane. Oh, no, that's the wrong lane in this map, ain't it? I always forget. Now, I gotta get to the right road. <laughs> this map has got so many different roads, it's nuts. Let's see, uh, which one do I want? I think, I think I want this road. Jody, welcome. It's 5 a.m. in the UK now, chat. Hopefully we want this road. Off camera, I take a bunch of shortcuts. <laughs> Ooh, we might have wanted that road back there. Let's keep going now. We'll go this way. My own, you are. Are you awake already? <laughs> Yeah, did we wake up Owen with the notification bell? I hope not, my friend. I hope you silence those when you go to sleep. I've been sleeping all day again, Chad. Okay, there's our sawmill over there. Yeah, we can go this way. Then we gotta go through the little forest. So we gotta go through, I think... It's right here. We can go through. There's a uh, trail beyond trail on this map. Y'all haven't explored this map. It's kind of a puzzle in some ways. Alright, let's switch views here. Ooh, I don't... Oh, I don't... Uh, not a big fan. Not good to sleep in the day unless you work at night, Owen. Yeah, that's right. I had gotten today off for my daughter's birthday. We had a really, really good meal. I made some steaks and some sweet tater corn casserole. One of my concoctions for a people's choice uh, category and barbecue. And then we had some uh, shrimp as well. You have to, you have the same sleep schedule as Rusty. Yeah, right. Oh, hey. All right, now where is our? There's our pallets back there. Drop that. This. Let go of him. Now, I might not have needed... I might not have needed the, uh... Telehandler if I got it on. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about... <laughs> we didn't need the telehandler at all. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm not thinking. Waiting for your tractor, Keith. I think everybody's waiting for tra uh, Keith's tractor, Owen. Oh, that'll work. Oh, that'll work. That's good enough. Hey, we're getting a nice uh, bunch of pallets here, though. This isn't the production point that I uh, bought at the start. I, I am relaxed. Oh. 
Are you are you making you are making it, Keith? <laughs> yeah, Keith's making a nice tractor. Hello? Chad won't give it back. Chad won't give it back. <laughs> Chad's probably enjoying it too much, ain't he, Keith? DJ's club will not... DJ's club won't give it back. <laughs> Jeez, everybody won't give it back. What is up with that? I love it too much. <laughs> I'm sure I would too if I had it, but I don't have it. Right now. He cannot use it. Oh, my son is must be sending another message about the world outlaws or something. I should probably look at that message. You will eventually. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Are you using it on your farm, Chad? Oh, I'm sure Chad's using it any way he can use it. Uh, Casey was in first for 14 laps, but David took over, but then David rolled. Oh no. Well, my son just saw a World Outlaw Sprint Car driver roll his car at Houston's Motor Speedway in Brandon, South Dakota. <laughs> and Casey was winning the race. Oh man. I wish I could use it in real life. Yeah, that'd be nice, right, Chad? <laughs> use it in real life. Alright, now we can take that load of pallets. Me too, buddy. Me too. Strap those in. We can go get ourselves a little bit of money here now. Not sure even how much is left in there, because I didn't have a whole lot in the sawmill yet. Probably should look and see what's left in there now. Is it ready for testing, Keith? Let's look at that really quick. Just see what's in here. Okay, so there's 8,000 liters in there yet. Okay, so not a whole lot. Alright, now we need to get over to my other farm location where we have the sell point for this and sell it. See if we can figure out how to get there. Alright, now we are right there. So we should be able to go down here maybe. Nope, adding a few more things and changing up some stuff to make it better. Oh, sweet. We love it when things get better. Okay, where are we going here? Let's go this way. What are you adding, Keith? Yeah. I like horsepower. I like horsepower. <laughs> Horsepower and cheap prices, Keith. <laughs> hey, we're getting to where we need to be, I think. Can we go that way? Uh, is it at that farm, though? Is that the farm we want? Uh, we better look in this. I can't remember which one of those farms my point is at. <laughs> Uh, would it? Is that this one here? Yeah, okay, let's uh, tag that. And we're right there, so we should be able to go this way, maybe. All the way there. Man! Better lights, new bucket, row crop tires. 
a few more just ooh, better lights and a new bucket ooh I like new buckets holy cow funny how dad can pay attention to you and play his game but not my text while he is farming keep him updated though <laughs> oh my wife and kid ah. can you put the LED oops put the LED strobes in the grill Keith is it possible <laughs> wow Keith you're just getting all kinds of wish lists tonight, buddy. How about how about a cup holder so I can have my coffee in the tractor, Keith? How about that? Does that work? <laughs> okay. Now, I can probably go that way, can I? Has two cup holders. <laughs> awesome. Huh? That's double the cop fuel. That'll work. We can go this way then. I'll have these main roads and back roads memorized by the time I get done with this no tractor challenge. Ooh, then we get to go that way. Like I said, good thing we're playing no crop destruction, but we don't own that field anyway. Now hopefully... Hopefully that will take us back up towards that farm. It should. Does it have an LED strobe bar on the roof? <laughs> Why too many things on front already? The beacon bars is already super bright. Ooh. People like things bright. Alright, let's go on down here and sell this now. Down here at our other farm location. Ooh. See, now I can buy chickens too. Sweet, 15,000 sold products. Alright, we're going to double our egg production right now. First though... What do I have for chicken feed in a silo? Uh, oh wait, I don't... Yeah, I do. I have a silo. That's right. Yeah, I have a silo. I don't have any chicken feed. I don't see any. I don't have anything but some hay. Yeah, okay. So we gotta get some chicken feed, but let's buy... Ooh, I gotta buy that first. Duh, Rusty, you knew that. That's how you've been playing this map. We gotta buy that little chicken coop for only a thousand dollars. Well, actually, almost two thousand. Okay. And we'll fill what stream is that chat I'd like to see it <laughs> okay let's buy some of these here for 3,000 buy that and we'll buy uh, another 60 okay and what do I have for money 13,000 left. A pallet of wheat is going to cost me 
A thousand for five thousand. Okay, so let's get another. Well, a hundred and twenty. That's not too bad. We'll go with a hundred and twenty and let them reproduce. So let's uh, get a couple of roosters here for decoration. Okay, so now we've got. I like that being able to buy multiple animals at once. Oh, yeah, cool. I like that, too. Uh, what I really like about this map, Cole, um, is you can buy the farmyard without buying the animal pens. So, I don't know if you've played on this maple farm, but you can buy the farmyard, and then whichever animal pen you want, you can then buy them separately from the farmyard. So, um, for instance, um, let's go to this map here. And this is the land we own right now, everything in blue. So, up here at this farm, right here, the main one, you can buy this farmyard for 36000 but none of the animal pins come with that. You have to buy them separately. And then once you buy them, you can also sell them. So you can sell everything you want to not have. So on this farmyard, I'm going to have just the chickens and the sheep, and I've sold everything else. Well, no, I haven't sold everything else on here yet. I could sell the cow barn and all that once I buy it. But that's the nifty thing, too, is, uh, so this cow barn right here at this farm, let's zoom out here, this cow barn right here, it belongs to this Field 98. So, Field 98 goes with the cow barn and you purchase it for 47000 but then you sell it for way more than that. You can sell the cow barn for more than that. So that's why I've got so much stuff already in this challenge. But the other thing about this challenge is, is I don't own any tractor, and um, I have a debt also, and I haven't paid anything on the debt yet. I'm pretty sure this is the challenge I have a debt on. <laughs> I've got so many challenges going on. Oh no, not this one. This one don't have a debt. But, we have to do three harvests, and we have to finish with $2.5 million. And we have to do a full trailer of productions. Oh, doing pretty good, Michael. Welcome, my friend. Alright, now let's get back to the main farm here. Figure out where exactly we are first. Where am I? I'm going the wrong direction. That's not good. Might help to go the right direction. My phone just beeped again. I don't like that traffic either, but we're dealing with it. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, we're right there at the store. What am I doing? We need to get over to the store. Jesus, kid. Alright, now we're here at the store. We can buy some chicken feed. Okay, so we want... Do, do. Let's see. Uh, chicken feed. Chicken feed. A thousand dollars. We'll buy a couple of these. 
That'll work. Three of them. Uh, for right now, we can put these on our... Now, can we pick the... Oh, yeah, that's too heavy for us. That's right. We can actually leave that right there anyway, because we need the truck, and we gotta go down to... Dang, can't buy multiples of that, though. Ah, you can do it. Uh, some way you can do it, I think, Cole. But I don't think I have the mod to do it. Jason Wilson, welcome, my friend. How are you doing? Now, let's get turned up here and... Look at my message here really fast. There's Casey. Oh, that's pretty cool. What, CBW Farms, Jason? Yeah. Hey, it's even spelt the same. <laughs> I just noticed that, buddy. Did you say what you are doing? All right, you'll have a good one early day tomorrow. See, all right, cool. See ya. All right, now, now we need to grab the, we can dump this off. We'll just dump it off here in the middle for right now. Get rid of that, and then we need to get rid of this. Let go of that there. And detach. Get our tipper box here. Is this late for you? Uh, it's, I don't know, it's like, uh, I don't know, 10.30 or 11 or so, something like that, Byron, I think. <laughs> I don't know, it might be 11.30 even. How's Byron doing? I, I was up a little late because I was waiting for my son to make it, to know that he made it to Brandon, South Dakota. Because my son and two of his friends uh, took a little bus camper and went all the way up to Brandon, South Dakota, about three hours away from here, to the World of Outlaws races at Husets. And they're going to enjoy themselves in the World of Outlaws sprint car races for the next uh, four nights. They won't be back till Sunday. It's 11.23 in Mississippi. Ah, sweet. Are you kidding me, Chad? That's only 30 minutes from you? <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I wonder if uh, wonder if Buckwheat would come in here, Chad. He, they were thinking about coming in here, but they're watching the races right now, I think. Let's load that up here. Same in Kansas City. Ah, oh, man. I just knocked over. Knocked over a bunch of mail. Well, 
Eleven twenty-five here. chicken does our other chicken coop have in it right now? Um, our other chicken coop is full of feed. Okay, so we are going to have just about full capacity of feed in the other one then. Okay, sweet. Nope, the town is Brandon, South Dakota. I live in the northwest corner of Iowa. Yep. That's supposed to be a really neat little track, but I've never been there before. Uh, one of the games I used to race in on PlayStation 4, one of the racing games had that track on it. Now, it probably wasn't like it looked in real life, but I can't remember which one of the racing games it was, though. Whoa! Okay, you're not supposed to go that direction, you're supposed to go the other direction. <laughs> oh, it was an awesome track. <laughs> I've seen people use the Roadrunner as their primary machine in this challenges. Put on, uh, put on the front hitch some Vetterstat Agro number 13 tires and it. Yeah, I use the Roadrunner 2 Byron a lot. Okay, now I just think I went way past my form because I was trying to <laughs> read and drive at the same time and I'm pretty sure I blew right by it there. Yeah, I'm going right past the intersection. Oh, but we don't want to go up to this one, do we? Gosh darn it. I get my bearings straight here by the time I... Actually, it's probably quicker to go uh, that other way to to that farm. Go this way, the way we came back. This is the way we, some way like here, we came, yeah, okay, we got to go through, uh, well, not through there. <laughs> it didn't take the right uh, turn out. Uh, I can see why. Are you losing your mind there? No, no, there's just so many, uh, there's so many, uh, what do you want to call it, back roads in this map. Jason, that yeah, yeah, and they're kind of hidden by all these trees and everything. <laughs> you gotta get, know right where you're going, unless you're gonna go across the map, through the hedges, across the fields, all that good stuff. You can get easily, easily lost. Join Rusty's Discord. Ah, oh, thanks there, CB. Okay, now, we're going, yep, we want to go this way. Have you played Stone? I haven't even looked at it, Jason. I haven't even installed it. So, yep, nope. 
it's a no for me, but I know somebody that a lot of you all know that is gonna share a challenge on that map called Stove Valley. And it's gonna be coming from somebody <laughs> that I didn't think I'd see do a challenge. So that's gonna be pretty cool. But he actually took the challenge from another uh, creator. Okay, then it's not that farm. We want the other one. So we can go to the other one from here too, I think. Should get a ticket for driving with undue care and attention and plus reckless driving. Wrong side of the road. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes, I know, right? They immediately fix the problem. They immediately fix the problem. What about there, Byron? What problem? I know I had a problem with my Discord earlier today, and I'm sorry for those that saw it. But that was taken care of, and, uh, yeah. Based off of the changes I made today, uh, to my Discord channel now, uh, yeah, all I'll say is, is that won't happen again if it does. Yep, it's already been discussed with a certain individual that they'll be immediately banned. Oh my goodness, see, now, okay, let's just cut through this hedge. <laughs> Got myself lost even leaving that farm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this traffic on this map. I'm going to have to shut this traffic off. He had no trouble pulling field implements with the semi truck. Oh yeah. I did a lot of that on Calmsden Farm. I did a lot of that on Calmsden Farm with the Roadrunner Plus. Call the cops. Oh, wait. Yeah, right, CB. Sir, have you been drinking tonight? <laughs> well, I have, but not that much. Not even, not even two full bush lattes. Come on now. I just want you to. Oh, okay. We're not in the right exact spot quite yet. There we go. Let's move over a little bit. Step out of the truck, sir. <laughs> Come on, give me the old feet icon. There we go. There is the wheat unload. There we are. Goodness sakes. There. Not that way. Hello. Hello. Step out of the truck, sir. Put your feet together, your arms at your sides, and don't start until I tell you to begin. <laughs> One foot in front of the other, heel to toe, don't step off the line, raise your arms, or any of the following. Do you understand? Uh, no.
Oh, and I took the wrong turn there, too. Yep, I obviously don't understand. We got to go the other direction towards the farm. We'll eventually get the directions on this map uh, down to a T. Alright, so now we got 240 plus 120. It's like 360 chickens so far, something like that total. Yeah, he's on the move. Oh, yeah, I'm on the move, that's for sure. There's things to do. <laughs> Towboat, welcome, my friend. How are you doing? How is Towboat doing? Alright, there we go. Come on. Get with the program. Speed up there, driver. Let's go in here. Get our mower now. Ooh, now we might be able to. We've wasted so much time trying to find where I need to go. That my silage might be ready. Actually, oh, 96 percent, not quite. How about if we do this, though? Cause I ain't too worried about the, the uh, I ain't too worried about the uh, contracts. Um, we'll go to. If I didn't turn off traffic, I'd never get anywhere, <laughs> right? Bunker silo is done fermenting. Sweet. Put that back to real time. All right, now it's even a little brighter. Let's put this guy right here. Get my telehandler. Ooh, what we need, the truck, because I didn't lower that. Ooh, I could drive that off in there, though. And neither would anybody else on the road. <laughs> yeah. It's not strapped down. You're freaking early today. <laughs> Taz. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <was> funny. <laughs> there, there is uh, the person that's gonna share a challenge pretty soon. I hope. I sent you a reply, my friend. It's 7:40 a.m. here. It all looks good to me. I'm just not a fan of. One of the parts I responded to you about. <laughs> All right, let's clear this up. Get this all off of here first. There we go. Yeah, I seen the message. Sweet. Ah, for, for a minute I didn't know if it was gonna. Not a fan of the no tabbing either. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's gonna be a heck of a struggle there, Taz. Whoa! Okay. Okay, okay. We got too much weight above us in one spot. We got a Pay attention here. Would hate to lose that. Oh, if we only had the milling machine. I know, right? Silage bucket holds more, right? Uh, you know, a silage bucket might hold a little more. 
but this is the, the bucket by Mack Trucker. It's got a decent capacity to it, really. Oops. We got 3,111 liters. We can look and see, though. Let's just look and see, because now you got me curious. Oh, uh, telehandler. We're doing 3,000 liters right now. There's 1,760 in that one. Yeah, that's telehandler tools right there. Only the same bucket I used to have on the tractor. Three thousand liters isn't uh is pretty decent though. Three thousand one hundred and eleven. Uh, 110, yeah, okay, sorry, I gave it one extra. <laughs> You'd be doing better with the wheel loader if you can afford, I can't afford one right now. I can't afford one. I can't even afford, uh, cause the other thing I thought of, the new one that came out is 3,500, okay. Uh, the other thing I thought of, actually, is, uh, where is that at? Uh, where is, uh, is that belt systems, maybe? No, not there either. Um, I'm not a big fan of the whole belt system thing, otherwise they'd use those, uh, is it auger wagons? No, not there. Where is that thing at? Uh, forage wagons, maybe. Lizard Large Universal Bucket. I'll have to look that at, Keith. See, I can't even afford this thing, either. This thing would be the thing to have, but I can't afford this, either. It's 75000 and I can't lease anything. I have to buy everything. Gonna be last shift for the week today, and it's gonna be short, shorter one, too. Well, that's always good, and it's a shorter one. Those are nice. I used one in my silage operation. Yeah, because I can't even think of anything right now I could sell that I don't really need to... Ooh, you know what I could do, though? What I could do is uh, hop over to my other farms and see if there's another shed I want to sell. That'd give me some money. Because that's how I'm playing this challenge is, is I'm buying the farms and this farm's going to have just the cows and chickens. Uh, the other farm where the biogas plant is will have the pigs, and then the other farm where you saw the chickens will have chickens and sheep, and if I buy any of the other farms, they'll have placeables on them, other placeable items that we can have, or that I want. So I could hop over to the other farm and see if there's another shed I want to sell. Because this is the main farm. We'll empty this bucket and take a look at that. Because there might be one or two more sheds I could get rid of. Then I could maybe go get that thing. I could put that on the Roadrunner then, maybe. Did you take out a loan? Uh, no. 
Byron, that alone. I can't even remember if we can even take out a loon in this challenge. I'd have to look at the details. Let's hop out of that for a second and go into this here. And we'll fly over to those two farms. One should be right over here behind the store, basically. Oh, and I went right past it, I have a feeling. Yeah, I went the little wrong direction. Right over here is the one farm where the biogas plant is. So we could, oh, I don't own this land, I don't think, to buy that, sell that. Yeah, I can't sell that yet. And I'd have to buy those two pins. I want to keep that shed over there. So let's go to the other farm then. That should be straight across from here almost. right over here oh that's the main farm so then we go this way and it should be right there it is so right here then I could sell this shed I think we'll get rid of this shed so, I think I have that opportunity. There we go. Yeah, we'll sell that one. And then if I want to put a new shed down there, I could eventually. Ah, Rough Riders, welcome. Hey, everybody. Okay, and then... Um, I could sell... Man, that one's awful tight right there to that. Let's sell that, too. Should be able to sell that. Alright, yep, that'll work. Okay, and then we will. We got a hundred thousand now. Look at that. It's a surprise that I'm not too sleepy to stay up now after taking Bella for a morning walk. <laughs> Alright, so now will that hook up that won't hook up to that, probably. So, what am I going to want to do? Uh, let's see. We'll take... We'll take this here. Did I ever get that other attachment? I don't think I did. Now, do I have that attachment turned on? Put that right there. Us. Ah, good night. All right. See you, Chad. If you're leaving there, my friend. Um, let's go into here and to forage. Uh, no, not there. I want telehandler tools for right now. And I want this thing uh, with tether. Yeah, we get the with tether. Oops, change that main color to yeah, we'll go like that. Brian, A.K.A. Firefighter, eleven thirty nine. Welcome, my friend. I buy that to you. Thanks, buddy. I love your video. Till next time. All right, we'll see ya. Then we're gonna go back up here to the forage wagons. Gonna buy this thing. Forage pickup. Bulk pickup. Yeah, that's what I want. I think. And. What's the main color there? What's that change? Yeah, since we're doing massy colors, we'll 
do that to white. Put this at, well, that's already on Massey. Buy that like that. All right, now we're going to take this thing down there first here. Have a good night, CBW. Nice seeing you. Yeah, nice seeing you, Chet. Now I'm going to see if something else new in my mind works. And you'll all see it live if this works. Otherwise, I do know another nifty trick I want to try here. Not much, Brian. Working on the mod and listening to more rain. Beware, it looks like it's got an additive resin but it really doesn't. Several of us tried every possible way to fill it, but nothing. Fill what? Byron, what are you talking about? I've used the tree devourer, if that's what you're talking about. Otherwise, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I haven't had any problems with the tree devourer, like Bruce is having today. The bulk loader? Oh, the bulk loader? Okay. There we go. How about them apples right there? It doesn't like it very well, but it's on there. See how it's uh, got a capacity meter? Yeah, yeah, I see that, Byron. That looks a little funny, but hey, if it works, it works, right? <laughs> it can't, it can't be filled? Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we can and can't do, you know? What will it be in the no tractor challenge? We're even going to see if we can use it on the telehandler here, which I don't think is going to work very well. We'll give her our best. Because, number one, we're not on the ground. There we go. Now we're on the ground. And we want to turn on... Oh, pipe out first. Pipe out. Okay. Worst case, attach it to the back of the telly. Oh, yeah, Taz. Good point. <laughs> good point. Okay, now. Uh, lower forge pickup. Okay. Turn it on. Let's see if we'll do anything here. Heck yeah, look at that right there. 508 liters picked up. <laughs> That's not a lot. Uh, and it's putting it in my style. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I totally forgot that I had that sitting there. All right, let's get this truck out of the way. forgot that I had my forage wagon here sitting. This is where I've been camping it out. See, it's, uh, we'll park the truck in there, but let's get this forage wagon 
back emptied out into our oh come on don't crash into the telly camera collision you're gonna drive me nuts so I'm trying to back a truck up Come on now. Um, no. I want to. There we go. Uh, no, not that one, you silly. <laughs> we want the other. Unload the wagon. I don't think it's going to let me unload the wagon. Well, that stinks. It's disrupting it from the connection, I think. Let's just set it over here out of the way. Don't worry about that 19,000 liters later. Ah, we don't need that front lifter. It can stay on that. <laughs> Quit messing around. park this guy right in here then he can shoot right into that truck like he already wants to do all right let's roll on do some silage out of this bunker look at them apples right there a telehandler doing some bunker work The wagon's got an active floor, but the truck has no hydraulics. My truck ain't full already. I'm not. There we go. I just ain't close enough. How do we, uh, let's see. Turn off, no. I don't want, can we somehow turn off uh, the capacity of it to where it just, that's probably just because I'm not close enough. See if it maintains shooting in there. There we go. Yeah, we're just too far away from the truck there, I think. I need to put a wagon or something on the back of the telly. That would be awesome. That would work really better. But we're at least loading this a lot faster than we were. Plus we're doing it in a way that, yeah, probably nobody else has <laughs> done it this way. <laughs> With this telehandler. Other than me, myself. Doesn't got a very large capacity though. 500 liters? Wow, that really can be increased. You're asking a lot of that telehandler already. <laughs> hey, it works, Byron, right? It works. As long as it works, you know. That's all that matters. Now it's just, we're almost full now, finally. 38,000 liters. Then we could hook up the old wagon to the back end, maybe. And have it uh, shoot into that, into the forage wagon. Now, hopefully, it'll continuously shoot in there. While we get this. There we go. 
Yep, but it definitely wasn't made to pull a trailer. <laughs> what wasn't made to pull a trailer? This little telly? <laughs> is it not that powerful? I hope it is, because that's why I switched tellies. Because this one's actually got a three-point hitch on the back. Yes, oh man. Them's not the kind of words I want to hear. <laughs> See, it doesn't continually uh, empty out. It fills up, then you gotta empty it out. That's kind of... Wish there was a way to maybe switch that. Uh, uh, I don't think there is. What's the uh, unload here? It does that to me sometimes, too. <laughs> oh, there we go. Our truck might be full. Let's check the truck. It might be full. Oh no, truck's not full. Let's move the truck around here. We can get it a lot closer maybe this way. The cab's not in the way then. Don't think you'll be able to unload that forge trailer without hydraulics. Oh, I see what you mean now, Byron. I see what you mean now. I think I see what you mean now, Byron. But we got a way to fix that. I believe first we need to connect up to that and get that oh, no. get that to come on there we go get that detached and then we'll get away here I think this might work better we'll see Drop this one right here for right now.
Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Just like that. A little longer of a train, but hey. It'll do the job. Now the tricky part, though. Just getting that in there. Hydraulics were hooked up to that, but we need to put it to the truck though right now. Hey, there's a uh... hold on a minute. Maybe I don't need that. Oh yeah, I don't even need that. We just go straight to the truck. may need a PTO hookup. I know it won't pick up grass without that. Ah, oh, okay, Byron. Well, all I need to know is if it's dumping for right now. But. But, let's see here. She's spinning. She's spinning, you sure it won't pick up grass? Cause she's a spinning. She's activated. Well, let's just find out. We got enough horsepower in here, hopefully to not get stuck. find out if it'll pick up anything. Oh yeah, it's not picking up anything. That's kind of weird. Because it's on. It's trying to, but it won't let it. Will it, huh? Oh, now. Now we're down. Was it not down earlier? Oh yeah, there we go. I just didn't have it down. It's picking up. We don't got any attachment on the rear of the truck. Just hooked straight to the truck. Looks like you're golden. Yep, I'm golden. That's right, Byron. <laughs> I am. It's just not very easy because I'm right next to that wall and this truck don't like that wall. Well, she's picking it up. Getting got most of it now. This is what I think we're going to be able to get anyway. Yep. Alright, now we'll get back in the telly here. Turn this back on. Felden, welcome my friend. How are you doing, buddy? There's another no tractor challenge guy right there. On no man's land. 
We're just cleaning out a silage bunker, Felden. That's a little telly. I think my silage wagon's full now. I'll put the pipe back. There we go. I think we're full. Yeah, we're 100% full. 71,000 liters. Alright. Pick up our pickup. Now we need to go down to the ooh, silage. Yeah, that's definitely a helpful thing to make on the no tractor challenge. It is. We got 71,000 liters right here. First place to go is the is the uh, biogas plant we got. Just got in from work, so a bit tired. Need coffee and food, I think. I do hope I'm I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good myself. Let's get on over to. Okay, now, the biogas plant is at that other farm, isn't it? Well, we're just going to go this way. This is the way I'm used to going for right now. As long as I don't miss my corners. <laughs> and I can drive like a normal human being. how we get cars that get in our way hey there's Felden's YouTube link anybody that's never seen Felden's content before thanks Tobo Felden's doing the no tractor challenge on no man's land and doing really well he's been working on it for a while though now we're just fresh into this We can turn down here, just below this little farmer's market. Uh, right here is where we need to turn. get this to the biogas plant I don't know I can't I think it holds 75,000 liters so a little about oh I hate this view give me my truck view where's my corner now here we go All right, now we can dump off and finally activate our biogas plant here. Okay, let's get on the... There we go, empty out our silage wagon first. Okay. Maybe that don't work because it's not emptying. That is strange. Stop unloading. to unload the truck so that might be the only problem is, is we might not be able to unload that like that so we'll have to get something else down here what 
the heck? How come I'm not unloading my silage either here? This isn't unloading. What is going on? I haven't put anything in the biogas plant yet. I'm just about sure I didn't. Why is none of that... It's on. Uh, well, I mean, it's not on. I don't got anything in there. Why am I not unloading my silage? Silage, start overloading. It's not emptying out. Why isn't that emptying out? out right here. It's still not empty. It's not emptying out. Ooh, now it is. What? I can't imagine. I assumed you'd be able to unload it if you run the pickup axle, right? I should be able to unload out of this truck, though. Why can't I, uh, no, there's nothing in the biogas plant, Byron. It's empty. What is going on here? I've never had an issue with that biogas plant. See, it's putting it right there. Gosh darn it. interfering with my biogas plant. I don't know, Felden. That's what I'm concerned about. Do you own the plant? I own the plant because I put it on this piece of ground I own, Keith. Um... Because it's down... Biogas plant is t -t -t over at this farm. No, not that farm. This farm right here. We own this property right here and it's placed right there. About. Mini biogas plant. Am I not going to be able to put uh, production points on these farm yards, maybe? Is that my problem? Because this biogas plant should work. Oh, man. This is not what I was expecting to happen. Uh, okay, let's go here.
something. Never heard of that being it. Yeah, right? I don't know what else would be the issue. I'm going to sell it. Only because I have the opportunity now. Let's see. Let's see here, though. Is that 50 or 55? I think it's 55. My only thing is, is I wonder if that other biogas plant is interfering with that other mod from ER Shaba that has the same biogas plant in it because I got two of them right here. One is the mini VGA with refueling and then I got the mini biogas plant. That's my only uh, thing I can think of. Which we don't have enough money now, but I was just going to see if maybe if I move this out away from like the edge of that road or something. Put it out here in the center, if that would make a difference. So I'm going to have to... I just need a little bit of money. Uh, let's go back in here and we'll get rid of that other shed. So I can figure this out. See what's going on with this here. Oh, we want factories. Mini biogas plant. I want this one right here. Let's just move it out a little bit. I think the two versions is part of the mod update, Rusty. They changed some things and added a second version with fuel points for tractors. Yeah, I was just wondering if the two different mods might conflict with each other, maybe? I don't know. I can't think of what else it would be doing. I don't want it real close to that uh, pig pen either. We'll just put it here, see what happens. I got money if, uh, I need to sell it again. <laughs> I hope it at least works right here. It should work. I've been using this little biogas plant everywhere I've been so far. Start overloading. It's still not... Well, there it goes. Now it is. It didn't start out that way, though. That is really weird, though, why it's doing that. Yeah, at least it's working though right now. <laughs> it started to not unload it there, but then it did. Alright, Rusty finally made it home. Gonna go to bed because I gotta get up in five hours. And... Alright, Tobo. Yeah, I'm not even sure what time it is now here either. <laughs> Just been trying to figure things out here. Now we can pick up the, we should be able to pick up that silage though with this wagon here. If it'll let me dump out of the wagon now, it should let me. Okay, it's dumping the wagon now too. I think it's the operator. Oh, shug. <laughs> You're lurking. <laughs> oh, there's always got to be somebody. <laughs> Have a good sleep, towboat. <laughs> Alright, now we can get the rest of this picked up.
Okay, now let's not get stuck on it. Come on already. Are you serious? There we go. There we go. Ah, yes. The US-3R is throwing up an ID 10T air. <laughs> Come on, we almost got that pile picked up. There we go. Now I just get the rest of this other pile here. Well, that was strange that I had to move that like that. AKA idea oat. I D E O A T idea O <laughs> Come on Oh, you didn't like that, did you? I wish this truck had some b lights on the back of the cab, too. just barely getting any picked up because it's uh I'm gonna get stuck on it here there we go come on we cannot say the word YouTube rules well I just said it because you typed it so <laughs> Alright, there, we finally got it all. Okay, we can shut that off then. And we picked up the pickup. Okay, now, it's not going to take probably all of this load, but it'll take some of it. It should. All right, it is going to take it all. So, what are we at? Uh, oh, yeah, we had 71,000 meters, so. Okay, so I think this thing holds 75,000. It's either that or 73,000. I can't remember. So, I think we'll just leave that that full. Uh, now, we can activate that, though. Activate that and store it but we're gonna put the uh, electric charge on selling and the methane on selling and it will keep the digestate on storing now we get back out of here to the farm Okay, we need to turn right to get back up to the road here at some point. There we go. Okay, now how do we get back up to the road? 
I guess we just drive through the fields and get over there. I missed my other turn, obviously. I need to try these other routes. This map is like a puzzle. Whoa, watch out there. Now we turn right and then left. I've got 10 hours in Stone Valley and only planted three fields so far. <laughs> oh, Shug, that's not sounding good, my friend. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I bet the fields are pretty big. I just haven't seen it yet. Oh man, seriously, is that like another 3,000 liters in there then? We're not gonna get out. Alright, let's, uh, set that down. What's your game month set on? If you use November, that leaves will us usually fall off the trees and you'll get better visibility. Oh, okay. Well, actually, uh, I'm playing seasons in this challenge, Byron. <laughs> To be honest, let's see, we need to pipe out. Yeah, I'm playing Seasons in this one. I probably should have played uh, this one without Seasons and then done Calm Lands, Baker's Dozen with Seasons. I should have done it the other way, but I had to rebuild the farm and buy and drive all equipment. Oh, yeah, the store is a long ways away, is it not, Shug? on that map. There you go. Now you're emptying in there. Come on. He doesn't like to empty into that. There we go halfway across the map <laughs> all right there ain't much in there let's uh shut that off and we'll go put this thing away here actually we'll just leave this thing in here because let's just drop it down in here Oops, wrong one. That's what we want there. Oops. Okay, now I want to detach. There we go. That. And detach that. Okay, I didn't want to tip that like that. There we go. It's going to be easier to pick up the remainder of remaining of that with the bucket cuz there should only be about 3000 liters. I think left in there. Setup, oh yeah, setup always takes forever. That's kind of like uh, the new update for Goldcrest Valley came now, Shug, and I need to reset up that Let's Play now that we got that update. This is going to take forever to move the equipment everywhere I need it to be, where it was when I quit because that update was coming out.
There we go. That's a lot better. Right, now we just got a little bit left here. All right, 302 liters, the last of it. And we got this bunker all cleaned up again. And I can probably sell this bunker if I'm going to use my fermenting silo then. Make some money off this bunker. Because I own it. Oh, let's just put this. Okay, let's drop, uh, not that. Drop my weight. I'm playing with subsidy money and it takes up to five hours for me to assemble my feet fleet. <laughs> oh Byron. this in our silo this little bit just over 5,000 liters sweet well at least I got that uh, that BGA problem fixed live and didn't have to worry about that in a Oh, excuse me, in a recorded episode. Okay, now, where did I keep my... Can you sell that shed by the silo? Uh, yeah, I can sell anything there, Byron. Yep. Kind of using all the sheds right now. Uh, oh yeah, we had this sitting over there by the silage bunker, didn't we? We'll put it in the shed right here for right now. Back in here out of the way. Oh, excuse me. It doesn't harm your equipment to keep it outside. Yeah. It doesn't. I have a big problem with keeping stuff outside and not in sheds anyway, so. <laughs> in some in some of the game saves I've been on, I find myself keeping stuff outside instead of in the shed. When I even have the shed to put it in, too. Put that right there. We get this bucket off now. We don't need that. Now we do have money to where I can get some cows here. Looks tidier in a shed. Yeah, it does, don't it? Let's drop that right there. I think we might go get some cows here if I buy myself a little TML, TMR to start off with anyway. We'll just put this guy right in here that'll work and we'll get the truck get it kind of put away here oh we got that that uh, low loader out and the flatbed all right, let's uh, 
Yeah, let's hop in the truck here. get some cows quick I think why is the Roadrunner acting like that I never had that many shifting problems with the Roadrunner on Calmston farm I wonder if it don't like this bull hauler or something. It's like it's not shifting. Shifts without, well, not the best, really. Never had problems like that with this thing. Let's take a look at this guy here. Customize. <laughs> Could get my truck tires I like. Uh, the covered design, bull bar. Uh, I don't need the bull bar. Invincible. None of that should be causing me any issues. How you got it set on manual somehow? I got it set. Oh, I do, don't I? How did? It, how is it? Why is it set on manual? Um. Aha! There we go, Byron. Look at that. I changed the horsepower from standard, which is manual. I upgrade it to 1800 and it goes to power shift. <laughs> it's going to cost me 15,000, though. So, uh, what's the next? Ooh, there's Power Shift uh, 790. That's only a thousand dollars. We'll do that for now. Yeah. There. Now it should be better. Oh yeah, that's much better. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, now, where's the animal dealer at on this map? Because I cannot remember where it's at. Have to bump it up a gear yourself, yeah. No, we don't have to do that now. Oh, right there. Livestock market. I think right there. I never use the Roadrunner. Looks too fancy for knockaround farm work. <laughs> Looks too fancy. What? Yeah, that's where we got to go, right here. Tag that. 
That's over there. It should be on our main road then. Hopefully we got some room with this big thing. Oh, that runs so much better. Alright guys, I'm off to bed. Yeah, we're going to be off to bed here shortly too, Shug, once I get these cattle. Yeah, have a good night, my friend. Thanks for coming in the stream. Now that's if I can pay attention to where I need to go. Okay, I missed a turn. Like I said, I can't wait till I get more hours on this map and get it a little bit more figured out where all these hidden... Okay, that's not the hidden road. Where's my hidden road at? It's gotta be up here then. get there. Me too, the rabbit has been seen too, and the med sir starting to kick in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here I am, the one yawning right in the mic too. Okay, so, now we're right there. Now we are here at the animal livestock market. Now watch, even though I stay up so late, I never can sleep in, and that really irritates me. <laughs> because of my line of work and what I need to be doing for the rest of the day, I try to sleep in. And my body just will not do it ever anymore, it seems like. I mean, I'd be happy if I could at least sleep in until about 9 a.m. and that don't ever happen. <laughs> I'm always up the minute the wife's alarm goes off at about 6.30 in the morning. Alright, uh, let's see if we got any animations back here. Um, we need to... Do we have any... Don't look like we have any on this trailer, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. Don't look like I'm good sleeping in. I'm always tired now. Alright, well, we'll just fill it up like this then. So, we want these. And we get a full load. Ooh, ah, 55,000. Ooh, I have enough for that. I have enough for that. That'll work. That's all we'll buy then. Uh, that's quite a few, actually. And we can get some TMR at a really cheap price. Uh, pretty heavy, pretty heavy on the truck when you fill her up full of cows. You can tell the difference, that's for sure. <laughs> a lot, a lot of weight back there. Well, we turn again into our farm right here. And we're back with the cows then.
Now, I've never used the large in-game uh, cow pin that has the auto Autobot thing, whatever you call it. The auto feeder, so I don't know the first thing about it at all. Whoa! I just slaughtered my front lifter. <laughs> There we go. Now we're there. Now we get them in that doorway there. cows we got milk <laughs> we don't got the milk yet but we'll have milk let's shut that up now we can put the old truck away here keep the old truck right back here hiding behind the shed hooked up to the trailer for now okay now I wonder if I can just feed my uh, TMR pallets right into this from the ground let's uh, get my TMR though TMR uh, should be right here. Mixed ration. There we go. That should be plenty of. Uh, TMR for a while. Nine pallets at uh, 5,000 apiece, so 45,000 liters. Oh yeah, we can feed that right into there then. Uh, that's going to be a little time consuming, so I think what we'll do everybody, let's shut this off here. And we can untag that now, because we don't need that tagged anymore. Untag that. Let's jump up here. Move this guy. Alright, everybody. Well, I think that uh, we'll stop it right here. I could keep playing, but I ain't going to bore you with fe feeding that all that TMR into that... <laughs> feed mixer wagon thing on the TLX but I appreciate everybody that's watched this light late night live stream
drop me a tasty one on that like button if you would, which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people's delicious donut. Leave us a comment in the comment section and please share a box of donuts with all your friends and family by sharing the videos and the live streams from the channel. But for my self rusty money, we will see you all on the flip side. Have a good one, my friends. Thanks, Byron. Thanks, Felden. Thanks, Tobo. Thanks, Keith. Yeah, thanks, Keith, for being here, my friend, too. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one, everybody. We'll see you all later. Thanks to everybody. Have a good one.